Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on using the tidy number strategy to solve multiplication problems. Right, this question here, 5 times 488, if we were to use the tidy number strategy, we would um, turn the 488 into a number that's greater than 488 that's easy to work with. So in this case, that would be 500. So it becomes 5 times 500. But we've take, we've multiplied too many, so we need to take something off. So we're going to take away 5 times, and we've multiplied the difference between 488 and 500 is 12. So we take away 5 times 12. So now 5 times 500 is very easy to work out. That's 2,500. And we're taking away 5 times 12, which is 60. So our answer is 2,440. Okay, this question here, 4 times 392, why don't you pause the tutorial and have a go at working that out yourself. Okay, let's see how you got on with this question. So the you're going to change 432 to a tidy number, something that's easy to work out. In this case, it would be 400. And then we need to take away something because we've 400 is more than 392. And that's going to be 4 times. The difference between 392 and 400 is 8. So we're going to take away 4 times 8. So 4 times 400 is 1,600. And 4 times 8 is 32. So 1,600 minus 32, 1,500 and 68. Now you can find your textbook questions and have a go at using the tidy number strategy to solve your multiplication problems. Good luck.